Welcome back, everybody, to Stranger ASMR. Whoops! Today is a simple crafting video. I'm taking all of these little foam faces that I've created and I'm painting them gold leaves because I finally decided what I'm going to do with all of them. Let's get started. Alright, so some of these faces I have are already finished, but these are the ones that we will be painting today. And usually at night we wash Star Trek and um, I play with my foam clay. It um, just happened to end up purple when I mixed the scraps together, which is fine because it's a good base for these faces. I've decided to create a garland out of them, so it's just going to be a string of um, different faces and it's gonna, they'll each hopefully hang down um, one of these little, these little hooks here that I have that will be on top and um, I'm not sure how they'll stick with the foam clay, it's all kind of an experiment. Now the paint that I'll be using today is, see if there's something, wait, okay there, um, it's called Sargent Art from Hazelton, Pennsylvania. The reason I have separate brushes set aside for these particular paints is because they are basically a bunch of micro glitter. These are the glitter brushes specifically. And then I just have some clean paint water here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my paper towel ready. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to have a studio tour of this little room that I'm in. So you, can't, you can't see exactly where everything is, but it's I'm, I'm quite proud of it. The only problem that I have with this kind of paint that comes in a pot is that I really like to stir my paint, like mix my paint. Just mix, a mix it up a little bit. I know I can't get what's at the bottom of the pot and it makes me feel crazy, but for now, I'm gonna let it be this way. Alright. So it's tricky to get into the crevices of these because if you let the paint dry for more than a couple seconds, you'll get streaks. So this is gonna be actually I'm just gonna use this one. Um, this is gonna be really sloppy for the first layer of paint, just to make sure that I have everything coated. And then we're going to go through and paint them all. And I'll probably really need three layers. Whether or not I'll record all of three layers is yet to be seen. Okay, that one just needs to let that dry now. It's very lightly coated. Let me see if I can show you how it, if you can tell it looks like glitter or not. If you get very, very close, you can see it. So that one's first. I put them in order. This is a larger face with more holes in it, so I'm gonna take a bigger group and go down the nose line here. And there are eyes, so I'll let get in the mouth too. I think they're kind of sloppy. Alright, so let's go to the next one. The trick is kind of to be quick about it, but I am a, a very slow painter. Like I like to, I like to look at it. I like to watch it happen. Hence, <laughs> the channels that I make. Slow stop. Okay, let's go in. I try and stop wiping as soon as I see the stuff come off. So these faces I make, um, they're just completely random. They, um, maybe I will make one for you, but they're very fun to um, decide how the faces are going to look, and they kind of create their own character. And I have this thing, <laughs> it's pretty weird, but it help, helps me in my, my storytelling. I can see a face and I can put an entire story lifeline to it. 
but that's why I'm really good at playing the scenes because I I can create storylines from very little little to begin with. So this is just one kind of setup for my video that I am testing out with these to see how it works and how it looks and if you guys like it or not. Um, I don't have two cameras set today because I figured I wouldn't really need to look at my face while I do this. It's probably very focused and not... Actually, that seemed kind of good to watch for ASMR, somebody who focusing on something. Okay, you can see the textures testing out on the bottom. It's going to need a little more to get into those little pockets. Like I was trying to create like a little realist stubble look. This one I remember making. I was watching The Witcher. This one was in a Star Trek race. I'm one episode away from the end of season two of The Witcher. I'm going to try not to talk about it because I could go on. I've been watching Mr. Pineapple play the the games for years, and uh, I've been listening to the books when I do my book stuff. Alright, one more for the first layer. Sometimes these faces accidentally start to look like people I know, and um, I don't mean for it to happen, and sometimes I keep that face, just I could change it, but there's not, I don't really want to. I feel like people could get offended about it. Alright, so that was the first layer. You can kind of see how the second layer gives it that more solid kind of look. I think I'm almost doing it too fast because I'm not drawing as much as I think they should be in between. Mm, that's a dog fluff. I don't know why I'm doing this, I'm sorry, it's, I'm getting lost with myself, <laughs> can you think of a mess? It's going to be a, a string of these faces going across like a, like a, I don't decorate with garland, so I don't know, I don't have a good example of what normal people use, like flower garland, like a string with little flowers on it, you know, that kind of thing, but instead of flowers. <laughs> It's these little dead, dead death mask faces, because it seems just better to me. This one I kind of like because he's smiling. I don't usually make them smile because I try and think about how a dead body would have a relaxed face. Caitlin Doty, the Ask a Mortician. If you haven't seen that or heard of her, Definitely do a search. Um, but she talks about what the body does after death and talks about like death positivity. Basically, it helped me through a lot of death. And I highly suggest watching her videos. It's just morbid stuff. I'm going to have to put morbid in the title. I'm going to have to make sure you guys know that this is that kind of channel. Okay. I think after this one, I'm going to go ahead and let these dry a little bit more and come back and film the third layer because I don't think I left enough time between. Take a break. Maybe smoke a bowl and come back and wash my hands. Alright, I'll be right back. I forgot that I had Back. 
go ahead and start third layer of paint. And then we'll do the back after and just make the extra one. I don't think it's going to stick. Oops. No, I'm just getting those cracks that I see. Oh, see, look at what I just did there. I got stuck too much. Too and I pulled off all the layers. That's a mess. Okay. Oh, I just remembered to go over the eyebrow on that one. Here's the one with the chin. So I'm going to start on the chin to make sure that I have all these spots covered and coated. If this was going to be something I was going to sell, I would probably want to coat it a little bit better and make it look more finished, but I, I'm not, this is for, I'm experimenting with multiple things. I'm experimenting with the durability of this, cl this clay, this foam clay, S how the clay moves. I'm, f I'm worried that the varnish will not work. The varnish I'm afraid will f do a flaking kind of effect and that's what I'm um, that's what I'm testing. I had made one other face that I didn't show here that is attached to um, Mr. Pineapple. Actually, I'm gonna go get that face when I get done at the end of the video. I'm gonna go get that face and we're gonna see how, how well it's held up. Alright, start at the beginning again. I think the nose is there probably. Oh, so it's not dry enough where it won't, it won't peel off on the nose when I put it down against that paper table. Oh, this is the eyebrow one. Let's do that there first. The nose. Nice. Oh, there's lots of spots I missed on this one. It is wrinkly. I tried to make him look a little bit old. There. Better. Good, 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 good. Nice. Alright. Let's go ahead and let these dry a little. Oops. Cleaned up a little bit. So, starting now with the dry faces that I had made beforehand. So I have these on. It's sticky and it makes me feel like they're going to fly everywhere. There. Oh, I haven't been doing very many on-purpose sounds. But I don't think my craft videos will be able to do that as easily because I get so focused. You'll have to watch the ones that are collections for the stuff like tapping and stuff like that. Let's give this a try. Okay. I know it'll pull out so easily, that's the trick. I need something a little bit like more sturdy to for it to grip on or else it's gonna rip. Because this is as firm as that clay is going to get. And then I'll just do the one. It'll be facing this way so the strain goes to that way. 
Okay. Okay. No, actually that works really good. Let's go ahead and try another one. If you see this garland in the background of my videos, you'll know where it came from. If it's not hanging there, it probably didn't work out. <laughs> this one's my favorite. Do I want to put him on the string? Well, maybe we'll put him on the necklace. <laughs> wow, that worked surprisingly well. Look at him. He looks so great. Well, that's all of them. Now I'm going to go and get that little face on the pin and see how well he's held up. I got the pin that I had stuck onto my partner and it looks like it's done really good. I was encouraging some squishing so these are fingernail prints but this is how they look squish I'll crush his nose in <laughs> so denim uh, fabric with a pin like that I don't think anybody will be pressing their fingernails into the foreheads of most of them so it seems like a win to me so now that I have them on the string, I can store them like this until I'm ready to get them on a thread. This is a uh, little guitar string that I'm using right now. That is all my weird stuff for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I have 71 subscribers right now. That's uh, I wasn't expecting so many right away. Uh, next time. I might uh, do a studio tour, so a, a thumbs up if you like that kind of thing. That's all for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.